In this lecture, we'll be talking about some of the useful commands that you can use in your Proxmox virtual environment. And it is always good to, to familiarize yourself with the command line because it will help you to do various operations which are not possible in the graphical user interface. So if I go here in the PVE shell and here I can type in various commands. So let me first of all show you some of the common commands that can be used either for server status or to check the cluster status. These are two Proxmox nodes. One is PVE and one is PVE2 and cluster name is Syncprix. So I can just see the status of this by PVE CM and here I'll check the status. So PVE cluster management status so you can see here two ip addresses are there two nodes are right now connected one node id is one another node id is two now for example i'm inside my pve and i want to see how many virtual machines are there so i'll do qm list you can see here that two vms are running right now and one vm is stopped for example if i want to start a vm i'll do qm start vm id so vm id is 105 i'll type 105 and the virtual machine will start similarly you can also stop the virtual machine in the same way of course, you would say that you can also do the same things here in the uh, web user interface. Web user interface is also, in fact, in the background running the same commands. When you are starting or stopping, it runs the same command. But if you familiarize yourself with these commands, you will become an expert and you will do various operations which are not, of course, possible uh, to the web user interface. So we'll start practicing this through the command line, these basic commands, then we'll be moving to the advanced commands. So I'll stop this again, QM stop and 105. So this is to start and stop the virtual machine inside your proxmox and similarly you can also reboot it for example if i see this 104 is running right now so i'll do qm reboot 104 similarly in case you want to create a clone now for example this is the pfsense and i installed the pfsense once and i want to make sure that clone is created whenever i create a new pfsense from this so it should help me to create the template or i can even create the template for vyos which i'll be using most of the time so i'll be going here to shell and i'll create the clone of this i'll create the clone from vm i'll do qm clone i'll clone 105 and i'll give it a name 205 you can see here it is cloning the drive and you can see 205 is being created right now 205 vm is created and it is available right now so i can do various other commands also for example i want to take the backup of pfsense which is 100 i'll do vz dump which will create the dump of 100 so it will create the backup of you can see here it has created it has been successfully completed and i can go back here to the vr slash lib slash vz and here if you see see the space dump and this is the one which was created you can see here that 13th of january today we have created the backup of this and this is the backup log so you can also see if i cat this you can see the log of this complete log is available here so this way you can do the backup and in case if you want to restore also, so you will be simply using the command QM restore. I won't be doing restore right now because the machine is running, but you can do QM restore. In case you want to see the VM configuration, so you can see QM config and here VM ID, which is 100. So you can see the complete configuration of that VM. These are a few commands. And then I want to see the list of all the virtual machines. So I'll do QM list and if i want to see the list of all the containers so i'll be doing pct list and here you can see all the pcts are available or the linux containers are available i can of course access the shell of any pct i'll do pct enter 101 so i'll be able to enter into pc3 directly and the shell will be open for that pct you can see here 101 which is docker and here i'm into the docker i can just exit it i'll come back to the pve and clear the screen I want to see the resources of node. I will do PVE. Perf. It will show me all the resources, CPU, hard disk size, average seek time, file sync time, DNS external, DNS internal. You can see quickly PVE resources. Then of course, update and upgrade is there. So you will do apt update. You can see here one package can be upgraded. So I'll do app upgrade. So this way you can update and upgrade. And then in case I want to see the list of storage, one way is of course LSBLK will show you all the list of uh, devices which are available and if you want to see the usage of disks so you'll do df dash h it will show you the list of uh, usage of all the disks where the disks are there you can see here this is the proxmox data store which is connected to mounted to true nas so this is the true nas address and where it is coming from and where it is stored so it is like this and these are all the other disks which are available to you so for disk usage, we use df dash h. It will show you all the disks which are attached. And in case you want to see the usage of RAM, you will see free dash h memory and swap space. 
and how much is used and how much is available you can do pve sm status so it will show you storage devices which are connected of course that was the disks which we have seen but these are all the storage devices g drive is there true nas is there backup is there local and local lvm what is the percentage is used and what is the type of these even in case you want to add any storage so you can add the storage by pve sm and add so then you can add the arguments which i have already explained in the storage how to add the storage into proxmox virtual environment so in the storage tutorial you can see the details and if you want to see the ip configuration so ip address will show you the ip address and if you want to check the system log so you will be simply typing in journal ctl xc it will show you a complete log of the pve server many lines are there so you can check the log of the server here there are many other commands available if you want me to cover any specific command you can give the feedback in the comment section i'll explain you that command